Hello! Okay, so in this video, I'm actually designing a car. Well, this is a radio-controlled car, and I'm designing the shell for the car to for what it to look like. So, I bought a shell, and this is a Volkswagen Bug, I believe, and um, I'm painting it. So, I after sketching and designing, I realized I wanted the car to look like a cartoon, and that would be kind of creative. So, I went at it with a paint pen. And this process was kind of aggravating because the paint pen was smudging and it wasn't like great on the plastic, but I, in the end it looks good. So I was happy and I'm glad I took the time to detail the car with this. So the reason I'm painting on the inside of the car, the inside of the shell of the car, is because on the outside they have a plastic that you peel off at the end of the project after you're done painting. Um, so then it has a nice coat of, like, it makes it look clear and um, perfect I guess on the outside. So I'm glad this, uh, I, I'm happy with the way it came out. Um, I, you can see my blue, I used a blue Sharpie on the outside of the car to plan it out and um, sketch what I wanted, but that was, now nah, I ended up changing my design and going with the cartoon idea. And so right here, I actually applied paper and painter's tape to the inside of the car. So then I didn't get any paint where I didn't want paint. So I decided to go with the colors gray and blue. Um, I love the color blue and I think, um, the color gray kind of matches or goes alongside blue very nice so right here i'm i'm spray painting outside uh, don't want to die from the spray paint fumes um and so right here i applied my first light coat of gray spray paint so on the color blue you can see me i didn't do very i wasn't very i guess um i didn't plan very well with the blue spray paint because i you're supposed to go light coat light coat light coat and then let that dry and, or like a light another light coat and then let that dry you know like that so then you don't have any drippage um but some of the spray paint actually dripped and puddled i guess because i used too much um, but i'll just remember that for next time it didn't affect the whole body that bad it, it looks fine it, you can't really notice it but right here, I'm peeling off the outside, uh, the outer plastic um, on the car, and this gave it a really nice shiny finish. Um, so right here, I thought this was pretty satisfying. So this is me um, peeling off the plastic on the top of the car. Um, I'm really happy with the out result, and my other cover, you'll see this later, but my other, other cover um, was just, like here it is, right here. So this cover, it was just the one that came with the RC car, it was just the one in the box. It wasn't really creative, and I thought I could do better. And so I bought a new cover and painted it. So I kicked this one off, and um, I cut a few holes on this the cover I just painted in order to fit onto the car, and here's the final result. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out, and I really think it does look like a cartoon. It, it kind of makes it have that effect. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I enjoyed making it. Subscribe, like, share, um, do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one.